<laughs> What's up, boo? It is nine o'clock. My power went out. I think there's a storm today. But anyways, we're heading to set right now. I'm gonna be on set in Abbotsford for a Christmas movie. Just wanna say good morning to y'all, and then I'll see you guys when I am done. I'll plan out what we wanna to do today. I'm pretty excited for today. I'm pretty excited, let's get it, let's go. I couldn't find where the set was, but now that I'm here, I'm very happy. Cause I got a voucher, so I'm part of the voucher gang part of the Union Club, and yeah, today's a great day, God is the greatest. I had this really, really sweet message from my my good friend, good, good friend, Kimberlyn. She's in LA right now, following her dream. Shout out to you, girl. Um, people like that, you gotta keep in your life, y'all. But anyways, I don't know if there's gonna be a big vlog today, because I'm gonna be on set the whole day. Sorry, I'm gonna tie my shoe. Um, but we're gonna make the most of the day. And I will talk to you when I'm done. Also, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is communication. So, there's a girl that came late today and she was stressed out. She was shaking and the director was like, why is she shaking? And, and um, the wardrobe was saying that um, because she's late and she didn't want to feel like she was getting in trouble or anything. And then the director was like, why, why do you have to shake? All you have to do is talk to your agent, let them know that you're gonna be late, that you're gonna be on your way, and you don't have to worry about it, right? So, people get worried about the smallest things when when they, they should be just communicating with the people around them, you know? You can save a lot of time if you're just communicating, so. Um, I gotta go back to set, so I'll see you guys later. crazy. I love this job so much. I love film. I love... I love everything about it, man. It's so much fun. The director got me to do a bunch of stuff. And, yeah. Can't be more grateful. See you guys at the next location. Alright, so we are at location number two. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done. I'm tired, but I'm too grateful to be tired. So anyways, we just finished off of set. Oh, it was so crazy. We were doing a Christmas movie and it was in a toy store and they had the whole entire toy store and it was just so fun. It was like my whole childhood was there. It was so lit. It was so lit. Ugh. Anyways, um, so I'm at Tim Hortons right now. I'm gonna edit, this, edit yesterday's video so I can upload it. Then I'm gonna edit today's video. But I did get a surprise for baby girl. I got her a Funk, Funko Pop, Funk Pop, um, to add to her collection. I hope she likes it. Here it is, okay. <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful? It's so freaking beautiful. Buttercup! You guys didn't watch Powerpuff Girls? Okay, I'm gonna surprise Baby Girl with this one. Uh, I'm gonna surprise her later, and then hopefully I can get her reaction. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is... Um, when I was on set, I was talking to my friend. I was on set and I was talking to my friend and we were talking about parents and we come from Asian parents or like strict parents and it's really hard because sometimes when you're living at home your parents have like that power over you. So how do you deal with your pressure of living with your parents or having that with your parents and it just comes down to it when you're at home you have no choice because you you're under their 
their roof, right? You're under their payroll, but until you can leave and show them that you can handle life on your own, you almost have to respect their wishes. The only thing I would say is don't let anyone's opinion weigh down on you so much that you don't do what you need to do in your life to make you happy because you don't want to live your life regretting what you did or didn't do. You don't want to regret having, like, you don't want to resent your parents when you get older because you didn't do what you wanted to do. Just do what you want to do now so then at least you don't, you don't have to worry about it, you know? You don't have to, even if, even if you don't accomplish what you said you were going to accomplish, at least you can say that you tried. You know, and that's all you can really do, right? There's not a lot of things that in life that matter. Money doesn't really matter. Status doesn't matter. But it's family that matters, right? And the family that you have, you have, if you don't have that that relationship with them, you just have to communicate with them and, and let them know that, hey, this is what I want to do and, and this is how I want to live my life, right? And you can't live based upon someone else's opinions or approval of you. All right, so I'm going to go edit this vlog. And um, I, I just want to say thank you to my parents because I've always had supportive parents. I know it's is we don't always see eye to eye, but they always support me and they always want me to be happy, which I can never ever like. I can't be more more grateful for them. <laughs> you find it okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay, hey, go, go sit there. Okay, I have a surprise for you. What is this surprise? Um, you can close your eyes. Well... Close your eyes and open your mouth. No, you did that to your mom. <laughs> close your eyes. Do you know what it is? No. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> did you really just throw it at my head? <laughs> Buttercup. So Thank cute, right? Thank you. I know they have this one is this one would be easy to collect because there's only five of them in the whole series. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to get the monkey, but they didn't have it. This is the only one they had. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I used to love this show. It's so cute, right? Like the eyes are because the eyes are already dilated, so then because it's a Funko Pop, they're like extra dilated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Another one to my collection. It's funny because um, I stopped kind of collecting because I wasn't interested anymore. Not that my collection was like, well, I want to get rid of this. I don't want to get rid of it. I, yeah. I just stopped wanting to collect. And then the other day I was looking at it. I was like, oh, I need to get my collection back on track. Because yeah, I saw somebody selling um, Taurus B.I.G. <laughs> you should have seen the toy the toy store that we had. There's like thousands of these things. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm editing now. And I'm gonna spend ed the day editing here. I don't even know if we're gonna do anything else today. So Yeah, that's the vlog for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up and don't let your dreams be dreams. Alright, peace homies. Bye boo. Look, I look so wild right now. Okay, so I just wanted to say I have the best girlfriend in the world. I just uploaded my video and I got my title. We're grinding. It's life, y'all. It's a life, y'all. But I'm super happy, y'all. Um, yeah, cannot thank her right, enough. Thanks, baby. Thank you. Dude, YouTube is so hard, but it's a lot easier when someone's supporting you, you know? So, yeah, get your support system on, y'all. Um, I don't know, it's actually not that hard. I love doing it. It's the only hard thing about YouTube, the hard, okay, this is the hardest thing about YouTube. The hardest thing about being a YouTuber. 
coming up with titles and thumbnails, man. It's literally... <laughs> it's literally the hardest thing about YouTube, man. <laughs> Anyways, peace homies. Babu.